Good morning. Hi, it's Monday. So um, you'll have to forgive me. I'm a bit full of cold and uh, snotty and grotty and wheezy and, you know, but we had a really lovely holiday last week and I really wanted to come by today having not been with you last week on my coffee break videos because of our holiday and connect if nothing else and send my love. I won't do a long video because um, I'm just a bit gross. But, um, but I do love you all and I missed you. And um, I really wanted to check in and especially speak to those of you who are feeling the energies, the strain today, because I don't, as an energy therapist, I'm very tuned into the, the sort of universal energies, I suppose, the cycles of the, the moon and uh, the moving of the planets and how that affects us. But it's not something I share lots about. It's not everybody's area of belief and interest, and that's fine. Um, excuse me. But today we are in the energies of a total solar eclipse. And um, I really want to bring this out into the light for anybody who is feeling tuned into this energy um, so that you know that it is okay to be feeling as you are and not only is it okay it's always okay but it means that you're in perfect alignment with the energies that are moving you into a wonderful place so um you might be feeling very anxious you might have a lot of your shadow patterns coming to light and you know really getting your attention and it can be really tough so if your emotions are running high, if your sleep is running low, if your energy is running low, if you are having a cold, <laughs> you know, just remember this is all like the purging and the detoxing and it's moving us into a wonderful place if we can really hold on to the truth of who we are and that everything's working out for us. So I just really wanted to give that message out and if you aren't somebody who is interested or a believer of these things then I want you to know that that is a universal message that applies every single time it comes around anyway it's just that I know a lot of you might be feeling it today or recently so um <laughs> excuse me so I just really wanted to share that and remember the tools that you have available to you to come into this present moment and remind yourself that right here, right now, when you're not attached to the past and all your stories and all your, you know, tales of who you are and what's wrong with you and why you ought to feel bad. And when you're not attached to the future and your anxiety doesn't have to be triggered because you're not thinking about what's to come and how you're not going to be able to handle it. When you stay now in this moment and breathe and notice that your breath is there, that your body is here, that you are present, that you can tune into the feeling of love inside yourself and everything in this moment is okay. And there are things that can support you, of course. Some of you like to get outside and walk. Some of you like to meditate, do yoga. Lots of you do tapping with me. And this is a really brilliant way if you're feeling really up in your head, you've got lots of anxious thoughts, this can be really supportive because it brings in the holistic system, the mind, body, spirit, it brings it all together. And so you can really work with the wisdom of the body, which is very much in the now, it's very much immediate. So for me, so for example, because I've got these cold symptoms, I would break that down. What am I really noticing? You know, a cold move, moves through different cycles and our emotions move through different cycles. So today I noticed I have a wheeze in my chest, right? This is not medical information. <laughs> this is my overshare. So I'm going to show you an example of how I would work with these energies. And I would understand that a wheeze in my chest shows up as a physical symptom, but underneath that, the emotion is held within that as well and in an even greater picture understanding it's a vibration that I'm holding in my mind body spirit holistic system and I can access my intention through the beauty of that wheeze in my chest showing up because it's got my attention it's tangible and I can welcome it and say thank you for this wheeze in my chest this is perfect for me right now because it's showing me something that is in my energetic system which I'm ready now to allow to move and I can use my tapping by just saying 
even though I have this wheeze in my chest using these acupoints underneath my little finger here, even though I have this wheeze in my chest, I deeply and completely accept myself. And I'm going to say that three times because I really want to put emphasis into it. I really want to mean it because this part of the process where we make friends, we find peace, acceptance with the issue, the problem, the thing we're pushing away is the most important thing. So we say, even though I have this wheeze in my chest, and you're going to say whatever your very specific thing is that's showing up for you, I deeply and completely accept myself. And then we're going to move around the points. If you remember, we go a bit like a question mark down the body on the front of the eyebrow. And you can either say this wheeze in my chest, you can touch it, you can breathe and feel it, or you can just put your attention on it. You can close your eyes if you want to. And then you're on the side of the eye, just the same. Just need to put our attention on it under the eye. And then we're sending a bit like a signal, like an electrical impulse through to the amygdala, that part of the brain that's in fight, flight, freeze, fall response to this catastrophic symptom that we have in our body, which threatens our survival. And we're calming it down and saying, I'm OK, I accept this because it's bringing me a message. It's bringing me knowledge. It's moving me in my growth and my wisdom. And I welcome it. And I'm perfect, whole and complete, just where I am. We're saying all this to ourselves, you know, subconsciously. Underneath the nose. And we're just keeping our focus on that symptom, on that sign, on that feedback, on the chin. And then over the collarbone. So we've come down like a question mark. And then we go under the arm and on top of the head. The symbols, as they say. Right, my loves, as I said, I'm going to keep it fairly brief today. We're going out in a minute, but just to a cafe. And I'm sending you all very much love. And I hope to see you tomorrow. It's good to be with you again. Have a lovely day. Bye.